we are back with part four of making a framework. Uh, this time we're going to have two basic things uh, getting added. So inside of the base folder, we're going to have a new folder called shared. And inside of shared, we're going to have a new file called sh or yeah, let's just call it shared, shared.lua. And shared.lua is, uh, I'm going to zoom in actually. So it's uh, pretty simple. It's going to have your basic MP dots. So we're going to have MP equals MP or open brackets. And from this on, we're just going to copy and paste this uh, a little bit. And I'll tell you the reason. So we're going to have MP.base uh, for this one. Let us go here, MP.players player uh, we're just gonna copy this one more time and do players and then we're gonna we're just gonna remove these copy these up as well uh, so instead of base we're gonna have a player which is admin player obviously let's capitalize the a let's capitalize the a and instead of players we're gonna have a players for admin players, and then we're gonna have functions. Oops. And we're gonna copy a few more of these down. So a players functions, we're gonna have player data. After player data, we're gonna have commands. And then we're gonna have the basic one, which is admin. And what this is doing is uh, it's allowing us to call this. Since this is a shared file, it can go into everything. So anytime we are calling this mp.base, where is it grabbing mp.base? It is grabbing from this shared folder, which is right here. And that's that's basically for everything. So you won't get any air for um, this type of function or um, call is basically what it does. Now we're going to have a few more things, which is mp.starting. Right, let's do mp.new character, um, which your new character is going to have a cache, uh, which let's equal to, I don't know, you can put any number here. We're just going to put 600 and then we could have a bank equal to uh, 5,500. And what this is doing is we'll be able to call uh, something like mp.new character uh, dot cache and that's where it's going to grab it. It's going to grab your new character's cache and your new character's bank, stuff like that. Now in here, we're going to do MP dot, uh, user group. Well, uh, let's do user groups, which as it says, grabs a user group. So we're going to have a few things just labeled like this. And then we're going to have a thing in here, which is going to be the label, which is going to equal, oops, to equal uh, stuff in the brackets. So we're going to have this the user group, which is going to be labeled, labeled user. And we're going to copy and paste this down a few more as well. Um, so we're going to have mod, obviously, uh, moderator, admin, uh, labeled admin. Uh, and then we're going to add one more because uh, I feel like a lot of developers need more powers than admins, so you could have that sort of uh, disconnect. And you don't need this comma after these ending ones. Uh, I'd normally put them just to be safe in case I wanted to add anything else. But that is actually going to be it for the shared file. So it's actually very simple. Uh, but we're also going to move over to the gameplay aspect now. So we're going to have a new folder. Once again, we're going to call it gameplay in here. We're going to have gameplay.lua. Uh, we're not having client side or server side uh, differential on this because it's going to be the only file in here. So we're going to have a local function, uh, which is going to be starting role play. You can do starting role play loading loaded in or something something similar to that uh you could do whatever you want but we're gonna have a citizen dot uh create thread and in here we're gonna have the function 
and we're gonna put an end right here just so we can see that we're ended everything and inside of here we're gonna have four i equals one comma twenty five twenty five do and enable this path this i comma twenty five and the reason why we are doing this we can just end this right here is i will go into the natives as well so 5m natives and we can take a look sees for ourselves in this obviously uh everything you can find is in the natives and we're going to select lua and we're going to type in enable dispatch services so in here you can see uh that what it does is it turns it on or off so we have uh, police and everything in here basically turned off um yeah that's basically what that is doing and then we're gonna obviously want pvp so this one we're gonna do a for another for loop so for i equals zero comma 255 do if net network is layer connected and it's going to be i then what we will do is another if statement so if network is player connected again i and get player head as i not equal nil so if it is something then what it will do is set can attack friendly and we will do the get player pen in here which is going to be i and then we're going to have comma true and true and what this does obviously we can go back in here right here toggle toggle is true false for unnamed false for to be aimed at so like you obviously want these to be true and we could just end this now. So end, end, end. After that for loop, we're gonna want a wanted level. Obviously in role play, we don't want to be wanted. So we're gonna have another, another oops, we're gonna have another citizen function. We're gonna end this one off right here. We're gonna basically just copy and paste this with an end. And inside of here, we're gonna do a while true, while true do. Uh, we're gonna have a wait of a minute or thousand milliseconds and we're gonna do local player uh, local player equals player ID which same thing you could just get player pet as well if you want to do that but then we're gonna set uh, player wanted level oops, level and we're going to grab player comma zero comma false and we're going to do this one more time but instead of player wanted level it's going to be player wanted level now and that's just going to be player and false and then we can end that off right there um now in here we're I, we're also going to add a kill loop so what this is doing is it's gonna be what this is gonna be doing. Let me grab this quick. So we're gonna copy and paste another one of this. And what this is doing is we're grabbing a local localized location of where the player is. And we're basically just clearing that area of default NPC cops that normally spawn in on a 5M server. So obviously it's going to be a while true loop, while true do, and we're going to have a citizen dot wait of thousand milliseconds, and we're going to do local position, which position, uh, we'll just, uh, we'll just do pose, uh, get entity, entity boards, and we're going to do player, uh, head ID, and we're doing comma false. And after we get the location of the player, we need to get local distance. So local dist 
equals get distance between chords. Obviously, getting distance between chords, and we're going to get entity chords. Uh, and this one's going to be for MI, MRPD. Uh, as that's the main one that actually spawns vehicles, we're going to add a kill location to that. So we're going to get player add negative one. And then we are going to do a comma for the actual chords, which these are the chords of MRPD, which is going to be deleting. So I'm just going to add these in 15.56 and 23. Seven. And we're going to add a false here. And now we're going to do a if dist is greater than 150. This is less than 150, my bad. Then uh, what we're going to do is clear area of cops. And it's going to be, we're going to grab that pose and 400 of the radius, we're gonna add a point zero after that as well. And then we can do a else uh, weight 5,000. And while we're doing this, so we, I could just briefly touch on this real quick. Um, what this is doing is gonna clear this area of the cops. If this distance is not greater than 150, um, what this is actually doing is it's gonna sit set to else and wait even longer. Uh, this is making sure your resource, your resource will eventually stay at 0 0.01 instead of 0 0.02. Uh, and that's a lot of the, a lot of the timings, like a lot of timers, you're gonna have a higher, a higher Resmon value just because the weight is very, very high or very, very low, which means it's constantly refreshing. This just makes it so it's not constantly refreshing over and over again. It obviously is refreshing, but it has this timer on it. Okay, so now we're going to add the invent handler. And this is what we've talked about before. This is going to be this core event here. So you have this core event right in here, which is MP base start, and this is what it's going to be grabbing. Um, so we're adding MP base start in here. Obviously function of nothing. And we're just going to end it just like this. But what we're actually going to be doing is starting roleplay. So as soon as it started, it's going to do this local function. And it will just keep going. And that is going to be actually it for this episode. So a little shorter. Um, wanted to get some of the basic stuff done. Obviously, we need to go add this in to our manifest. But we will do that. Uh, we will do that off off the camera and once again hop in the discord guys it gets posted all right here as long with published versions uh obviously this this will be eventually a server and i already have this already built out uh this discord obviously not going to be released for a while uh this one i used actually for my old server obviously uh and yeah, we'll get to that. But if you have it, if you have your server linked to this, which you can click, uh, where is it at? Where is it at? You can just right click and basically you can get this sent into a server. I forgot how I, yeah, you just click follow up here. Click follow and then you could select where you want it. I put it in this server as well and you can see how it works and how it does. Everything I do is getting published. But other than that, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you on the next one where I believe we are going to be getting into. What are we going to be getting into here? Let's see. We'll be getting into some player stuff. Yes. Some player and commands and key mapping, most likely. But thanks for watching. See you on the next one.